ladies and gents, welcome to keepbeasy.com, the number one business lifestyle platform in Africa. Next to me, I've got Vito Andy. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, my brother. How are you, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right, man. You know. Uh, so yeah, man. You know, um, we know you. You know, Mr. Dope Store. You know, you're the dope man. Uh, you know, you're a you're a fashion icon in in Joburg. You know, you've been doing this for so many years, and you know, 2023, I'm catching up with you. How are things, man? I mean, it's 14 years in the business, man. So mm-hmm. I'm excited about about where we are and 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 how how we got to this to this to this level where it's ov- obviously it's persistence and perse- perseverance over the years and learning the game and learning the business mm. so it's exciting times man every mm. ev- every year i feel fresher mm. i feel younger mm. you know so it's, it's always exciting and seeing new platforms and seeing how the older platforms mm. how they grow into mm. into into new businesses yeah yeah i remember the first time i ever saw you was i was watching SABC there on a business show and you went there i don't know if you're looking for advice or money and uh, these marketing people coming to your store putting like uh you know things on the floor pointing to your store and as you know there's a whole thing going on and you were like yeah you know you're trying to grow and uh, you know looking back from that moment when you were like you know i know now you say you know you obviously you're feeling fresh you're feeling younger but looking at the journey from then to where you are now would you still have continued with the journey had you known what was ahead i mean yeah i mean even before then you know i mm. i was i was i was working i was working for a global brand called next mm. but I, i've always wanted to be i've always had an entrepreneurial spirit, spirit yeah, in, yeah. In, in my body yeah i was working in europe and i said man let me come back home and see what i can do mm. so i mean after 14 years mm. i mean it's been a lot of ups and downs obviously yeah. but what i've learned over the years I, I couldn't have gone to school to to know what i know now Mm. I'm a, I'm a smarter guy. Mm. I know how to I know how to maneuver different situations. But also, I'm a guy that likes to give platforms to people, mm. to to younger people. Because mm. when I was young, these platforms never existed. Mm. So I'm smarter in the way in how I operate in the boardroom. But I'm I I still have that that spirit of me being young because I mm. always want to share that thing and and give young kids a, a platform to learn. Mm. or a platform to contribute or a platform to grow whatever they need because when i was mm. like i wasn't too sure as well myself mm. but over the years i'm a little bit sure but i want to give the platform so that they don't start from scratch like how i did yeah. you know in 2009 mm. it wasn't it wasn't like even social media and all those things it wasn't what how it is now yeah so but i can still make it easier in terms of boardroom how do you attack this mm. don't be too strong excuse me with the younger people because they don't know but in the boardroom be strong because the yeah. brands they can take advantage of you yeah. if you're not sure that's why brands always want to collaborate with young with small brands with startup yeah. brands yeah because they don't really understand it's, yeah. it's 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 a lot harder for a big brand to to collaborate with me because i know the ins and outs of the industry yeah oh man and you know obviously having all these insights um what do you think is going to happen you know in terms of like you know if there's a, a young guy out there young girl out there looking at you saying yo man i also want to have my own brand i also want to have a store i also want to run a business uh what what do you think uh, are some of the tips that people can look forward to or people should learn now it's it's you know the world is changing into into a more more of a digital space mm. uh you you gotta have you, you gotta have almost like insight in terms of how how that works because mm. Making a product, I wouldn't say it's that easy, but it's something that you can achieve. Mm-hmm. It's about how do you communicate. Mm. Back then, when I was starting out, mm. the communication to, to, to selling your product or putting yourself out there mm. is completely different. And in the next two years, three years, it's going to be completely different again. Yeah. It, it move, it's moving so quickly. That's mm. why, even with me giving platforms to younger people, they get to teach me in terms of how, how is this thing going to move? How mm. is this thing moving? Mm. So with young people, they must just believe in themselves and believe in their dreams, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And then most of it, you, 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 figure, you figure it out if you're hardworking and you're persistent. Yeah. Lastly, man, how can people get hold of you? How can people get hold of the product? Uh, you know, what are you pushing this year? Uh, I, mean, I mean, obviously the last two and a half years has been something crazy. Mm. So we, 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 we pushed also, also the last couple of years we did, I mean, the last two and a half years, we pushed new frontiers. We got, we got our first mall space, which mm. was something that I was really scared of in the beginning. Mm. But since I've, I, I sucked my feet into something like that, mm. now I'm not as scared. I'm, mm. I'm a little bit more braver into getting to something like that. Mm. So I'm, I'm really excited about the future of the brand, yeah. uh, building the online platforms. Obviously, when we started, we didn't even have a website. 
mm-hmm. now we've got a really strong website we've got a we've got a website that that looks that's got an international appeal mm-hmm. so building those platforms and getting more younger people just to communicate with mm-hmm. the market mm-hmm. so that's the future for us okay i know thank you so much man i appreciate your time brother oh yeah the social the socials how can people get hold of you in the socials uh socials at dog store jhb mm-hmm. if you're in joburg at dog store cpt if you're in cape town at dog store uh dbn if you're in durban we've got we've got physicals well we had physical stores in all mm-hmm. those platforms but we're looking at at a new strategy of rebuilding those mm-hmm. things much stronger with a stronger mm. team mm. i mean we're focusing a lot in terms of like our hq team mm. so on twitter at dope store on facebook at dope store jhb mm-hmm. um we've got a website as well with the mm. online store www.dopestore.co.za mm. so if you need products that's mm. how you can that's how you kind of going to get us okay i know thank you so much man oh wait we're out <laughs> nice one nice one my brother.